What is good, everybody? It is your boy, Pat the Designer, back at it again. How y'all feeling today, Chicago? Um, the news came across my phone. I'm very sure the, the news came across your phone. The Chicago Bears uh, have contacted the Cincinnati Bengals about a trade for Andy Dalton. We don't have any details on the trade. Uh, it's been reported uh, from Paul Denier Jr. from The Athletic. So it brings the question up. Should the Chicago Bears trade for Andy Dalton? Let's talk about it right after this. I feel like I haven't done this in so long, but uh, cue the intro! Not for real, go ahead, cue the intro. All one, all two, all three. Stop it! You don't do him like that! Mercy! Did you not get the memo? So, if you are new to the channel, please like the video, please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly! And we don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure that you hit that bell. So, should the Chicago Bears trade for Andy Dalton? You've heard me if you've listened to my podcast, Wendy City the Breeze, or if you've listened to other videos where I've talked about quarterbacks the Bears should go after. Um, you know that I think that Andy Dalton is a good option for the Chicago Bears to choose. I know that he's up there in age. I know that there's probably better guys on the market, but I don't think there's a better guy for the Bears to go after to motivate Mitch Trubisky if that's still the route you're trying to go and also to have somebody who's a competent starting quarterback in the NFL should things not go the way that you want them to with Mitch. But the question I'm asking is not, should the Chicago Bears get Andy Dalton? I think Andy Dalton's a very good option for the Bears. The question I'm asking is, should the Chicago Bears trade for Andy Dalton? So before I continue with the video, I want to know your opinion. Should the Chicago Bears trade for Andy Dalton? Or do you think maybe there's another guy they should go get? Or they should just wait it out and get Andy Dalton later? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. While I like Andy Dalton, if we're gonna trade for guys, I think there's a lot better guys on the market who would probably be happier being in Chicago that would work with what you're trying to do. If we're in the market of giving up assets, if we're in the market of giving away draft picks or players that we think aren't gonna be big on our team but maybe can impact another team or whatever it is, you know, you need to be going after a guy probably younger than Andy Dalton, um, especially seeing as how you're only getting one year of Andy Dalton. What if you bring Andy Dalton in here and he really is washed up? And now, not only did you give away assets, but also you don't want to re-sign Andy Dalton because he's not worth the money that he would be getting re-signed for. I'm not in agreement that the Bears should trade for Andy Dalton. Now, if you want to go the route of waiting it out, like I think a lot of teams would, if they want to wait and just be like, look, um, Andy's a nice quarterback, Andy's a nice piece, but we're not willing to trade you for him. You'll eventually cut him because no one else in the league, more than likely, is gonna trade you anything for him. And then we'll just pick him up then. That's the route in my mind that gets you Andy Dalton. If you're gonna trade for somebody, go trade for somebody like Derek Carr or Teddy Bridgewater, or whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? But go trade for somebody who's gonna be impactful if you're gonna go make a trade. But Giving away assets for a guy who, honestly, in my opinion, you're bringing in to push Mitch, to set a fire under Mitch, because it seems like everything is perfectly set up for Andy to take over if you're bad, if you have a bad game, if you have a bad moment, if you have anything. It seems like the Chicago Bears have set things up with coaches that they've brought in to give Andy that starting spot. So I think that if Mitch has that competitive fire, if Mitch has that drive that he's like, nobody's taking my job, I'm going to be the starting quarterback of the Chicago Bears, I'm going to prove all the naysayers wrong, and I'm going to be great next year, there's nobody that you can bring in better than Andy Dalton to light that fire behind him because it seems like it's perfect for him to be here. But if you're giving away assets, if you're giving away draft picks, if you feel like, well, we're not going to find our guy in the draft anyway, so we're not going to need this pick. That's what's gotten you in the position where you're kind of looking around the team like, well, we need these holes fixed. We need these holes fixed. We could use a first round pick here and we don't have it. 
So let's not get in the market of giving away draft picks every season because let's not be the Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? Can we do that? Can we just not be the Chicago Bulls? I'd like to keep my Bears and Bulls struggles separate. You know what I mean? But you know what I think. I want to know what you think, Chicago. Should the Chicago Bears trade for Andy Dalton? I am going to get up out of here. Make sure you like the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly. And we don't want you to miss a thing. So hit that bell. It is your boy, Pat, the designer, back at it again. Y'all stay safe out here, Chicago. Peace.